Okay, hi, so this is the follow-up video to my jet car project. Um, if any of you saw the last outdoor testing video, um, you'd have seen me having quite a hard time trying to control it and trying to get it to go in a straight line. This is uh, partly due to my lack of ability as a RC car driver, but also there's quite a lot of slack in the car's steering system. Um, I built this car around a uh, old Mardave chassis. Now, it's a really good chassis and it's a really good platform for me to build on, but with it being quite old now, there's a, there is a lot of slack in its uh, in its uh, steering system. Um, things aren't things are starting to get a bit loose, and uh, and the wheels are also not tracking in the same direction. I think so. Um, that, there's a few reasons why it's not going in a straight line. Um, also, a lot of the weight is at the back. Obviously, we have the fan, we have a speed controller, have the battery down here. So there's not much force going on to these uh, wheels at the front. Um, so I tended to spin a lot in the other video and when that happened um, things flew off the car like the receiver flew off and the battery came out a couple of times and the speed controller fell out. So um, I went back and reattached all these parts uh, a bit more securely and of course my main problem was not being able to go in a straight line. So um, so I thought I'd see what would happen if I attached, if I put on one of my old helicopter gyros. Um, this is uh, the gyro from my old Dragonfly 60 helicopter uh, made by Walkera. I think, it's, uh, I think the gyro is a uh, G011 gyro. Um, and what the gyro would do was it would sense when the car was sort of not going in a, in a straight line and it would correct it. So if I attach the battery, so you give a demonstration of that now. Right, so this is the gyro here, this little box here. So if the car is starting to go straight off straight line, it, it should, well it does, it'll adjust, it should compensate for that. So with all these changes, um, I took it out for another spin. Um, and uh, now that I was able to go in a straight line, I could gather a bit more speed, but at the same time that also showed my need for some sort of braking system, because this can get pretty fast, and if I just cut the power, then it's just freewheeling. Okay, so that was quite a major crash, the one at the end. Um, I hit the front.
front of the car into the kerb uh, and ended up breaking the front suspension that was already broken anyway but also this time I also broke the front left steering rod um, so as you can see there's already some glue on them both because I've tried to glue them back together and hopefully they should be fine or at least in a working condition for another run tomorrow morning also um, I wanted to stop any damage happening from any further crashes that I may have because let's face it that's a very likely possibility um, I um, put this foam block on the front as you can see it's a very high tech solution to the problem um, hopefully just if I do end up crashing again then I'll hit the bumper rather than hitting any of the wheels so should be good for another test run tomorrow hopefully